Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Mac Gupat. Uh, uh, I do a lot of uh, podcasting, vlogging, blogging on variety of different topics: uh, content strategy, content marketing, social media marketing, email marketing. Uh, so today's topic is all about uh, email marketing, the importance of that. Why is it? Uh, uh, why we should uh, give it uh, important priority? Uh, to build email list and cultivate that why is it important so if you are a digital marketing professional uh, regardless whether uh, a solopreneur uh, organization agency small business owner or for, for that matter any kind of business you must turn your attention to building and cultivating robust email list uh, now there are many facets of digital marketing such as uh, uh, lead generation content marketing uh, social media marketing but email marketing uh, is a very crucial and vital part of your uh, uh, overall comprehensive digital marketing strategy so email marketing is email is what it sounds like email is what people give you uh, they give you their uh, email ids in exchange of some kind of uh, uh, value valuable offer or lead magnet that you offer to them so if you take a look at where we are today we are living in an information abundance age uh, attention scarcity personalization hyper targeting have become key themes so as a result uh, consumers uh, or our target marketplace expects us to know more about them and then uh, communicate with them uh, like that in that matter so Uh, to me uh, whenever i think about email marketing uh, it comes up with uh, a responsibility and it is a gift so i look at it as a two age a double age sword uh, it's a gift because uh, your prospects your leads your customers are showing some kind of uh, confidence in you they are uh, holding you uh, accountable or they have some kind of confidence you whenever they give us uh, their emails Uh, so you need to now make sure that you kind of comply with their trust you kind of uh, cultivate that i take it to the next level now it comes up with the responsibilities because we find that there are a lot of uh, bad companies out there they will spam uh, their customers uh, and it is uh, it has created a lot of bad rap uh, for the email marketing uh, as a whole but having said that right um, i would like to kind of offer you two statistics two stats uh, so the first stat is all about uh, the uh, direct marketing association dma institute uh, as per them email marketing on an average uh, offers 4300% uh, return on investment so compared to uh, social media marketing uh, email marketing offers you 4300% roi uh, for us businesses and number two stat number two statistics is uh, as per the venture beat uh, or the uh, uh, campaign monitor uh, mckinsey study uh, email beats social form of advertising whether it's a facebook marketing or twitter advertising by 40 times yeah uh, that's a huge uh, difference a uh, huge differentiation so email is 40 times is more likely to uh, acquire customers compared to the facebook uh, or the twitter ads uh, so you might want to keep that in mind uh, and you must rather uh, and then as i said earlier email marketing should be part of your comprehensive uh, social uh, digital marketing umbrella marketing efforts so when someone joins your email list they basically verify their identity by clicking on the link that you are providing on your website through a lead magnet or through a landing page that you are offering to them and uh, uh, that's how that's the first step uh, where customers or the target uh, prospects uh, or the leads uh, offer you that's the first form of uh, communication with them now now once you have that i would like i would like you to focus on the three uh, aspects of email marketing i call it as ppt the first one is 
personal number two is purpose and number three is uh, targeting so what i mean by personal is as you know email is much more uh, casual in nature uh, so whenever you are uh, communicating with your uh, email list uh, make sure that your tone is casual in nature not scholarly not formal uh, like not formal in nature so keep your a tone much more conversational in nature that's the first part of uh, uh, ppt number 2 is about purpose and uh, you want to make sure that uh, each and every email that you are sending to your target marketplace uh, has some kind of purpose it is driving some kind of value to your target marketplace uh, so whether it is uh, you are offering them uh, some kind of piece of advice uh, to their pain points or whether you are uh, uh, giving them like a free ebook or cheat sheet as a part of the email offering or whether you are driving them to some kind of webinar uh, by offering some kind of advice make sure that you maintain some kind of purpose and then you do not swerve away uh, from uh, why the prospect or your customer has shown confidence uh, in you in the first place so that's the number 2 and uh, another point about the purpose is that only when you keep on delivering massive value one email after the other uh, after the next email after the next email that is going to end up building a solid relationship solid trust solid loyalty with your target marketplace so even though they may not become your customer in the first get go it, it is going to take you a couple of tries but uh, that is where the email marketing comes in into the picture so start delivering uh, massive valuable content that that is going to help your target marketplace and then uh, it is going to do some magic uh, down the road i can guarantee you that so my that brings me to the third point is about targeting or segmentation and what it is is basically uh, uh whenever you are sending the email the more you know uh, your target marketplace which is the topic that i have covered uh, in my previous episodes uh, there are a lot of blogs out there uh, where i have talked about the branding i have talked about the value proposition messaging i have also talked about why is it important uh, for you to know uh, who your customer uh, avatars are uh, i have covered that uh, in details in lot of other episodes lot of other uh, uh, topics uh, so only when you know what is your customer target uh, market pit uh, target market pit is looks like in terms of their age gender ethnicity uh, geography what do, what what are their likes what are their dislikes what are their pain point challenges only then you can kind of tailor make your message you can uh, tailor make your value propositions in much more ingrained way so that that is the third part targeting so make sure that your emails are personal in nature they are ca- they have casual tone not scholarly tone number 2 make sure that uh, uh, it is serving purpose to your marketplace uh, in terms of providing massive value and number 3 make sure that uh, you are targeting uh, your uh, target marketplace uh, knowing their likes knowing their dislikes now today email marketing technology has come long way compared to where it was a uh, couple of years back few years back uh, so you have actually lot of uh, innovative ways uh, creative ways that are offered through the softwares where where you can mix and match uh, uh, the targeting strategies and then reach out to uh, your target consumers in much more smarter way So that's it for now uh, for today uh, I hope uh, I covered uh, the three points uh, and I hope I uh, covered the topic of why is it important uh, for you as a digital marketer uh, to build a robust email list I hope you uh, got gotten some kind of value out of that uh, so feel free to comment below feel free to subscribe to my blogs on my website www.makranutpath.com i'll highly appreciate that i also maintain a facebook page uh, i also have instagram and twitter presence so feel free to connect with me over there 
uh, as i say in each and every episode i try to deliver a value and if you like something feel free to uh, like below if you don't like something feel free to comment below uh, i would like to improvise myself as i cover uh, each and every episode uh, so i'm going on that journey of self uh, discovery myself so i'll have i highly appreciate your comments so signing off for now mac utpat wishing you all the best uh, wishing you all the grand success in your continued uh, journey uh, in your all your endeavors have a great day thanks a lot bye bye